Yeah, bye, bye, bye. Have a good day at school. Yeah, love you. No, I'm not watching it, but I did TiVo it. It reminds me, I need to put on my stories. Yo sé que en esta caja está la dirección de mi padre. Mi abuelito me lo dijo. Una dirección donde si quería podía encontrarlo algún día, pero hace tanto tiempo que él dejó esa dirección que yo no sé si vive ahí todavía o no. Oh, señorita, I forgot to tell you. I got to go in my no sé, Tobias. He estado pensando que su padre puede andar buscándola también. So I shake my head for the reasons. But that event, 10% of purchases go to charity, and that money goes to save those kids. Bueno, conocerlo. Decirle que soy su hija, que tengo a alguien mío en el mundo. I got one more fact for you. I'm not just Landon. I'm Jagger Finn. ¿Qué dice? That's right. A child is diagnosed with cancer every two minutes. And a lot of progress is coming from Baldrick's. And we want to be a part of it. Tengo alguien que me proteja. And one more thing. We are Finn and Jagger. We are Ryan and Caleb. ¿Qué dice? Surprise, Surprise me, me amor. We, we are, are a team on a mission. mission. But we also know you are not, not exactly who you claim, claim to be. Oh, oh, it's coming on. I gotta call Fong, make sure she's watching. Finally, tonight a story that began as so many do on St. Patrick's Day with guys in a bar who had an idea. They convinced people, perhaps after a green beer or two, to shave their heads in the name of making a difference for kids who really need it. And just like that, St. Baldrick's Day was born. Kate Snow has that story. 13-year-old Courtney Casillas is one of more than 500 brave souls shaving off her long locks, all to raise money to fight childhood cancers. Denver's St. Baldrick's event on Friday brought in nearly half a million dollars, adding to the more than 240 million raised nationwide since 2000. The hardest part is it gets really cold when you shave it when off. You're totally bald. When Preston was five, he was diagnosed with stage three Hodgkin's lymphoma. In the midst of chemotherapy, he came to his first St. Baldrick's event. There were so many people supporting me and cheering me to fight hard that I want to give that support back to other kids. Now cancer free, he comes back every year. 15 year old Quinn is still in treatment. When I lost my hair, it was really hard and once someone who didn't have to lose their hair um, said that they would like shave their head, I thought that it was really cool. That someone is her nurse, Kara. Quinn is just a really awesome kid. She wants to be a teenager, and I feel like the cancer and the side effects have really kind of stifled that. Today, Quinn is holding the razor. I'm hoping that by her shaving my head that she'll see that, you know, we're all beautiful, whether we have hair or not. The magic inside this tent is about a lot more than bald heads. Knowing that even though you have a life-threatening disease, there's people ready to lift you up. Beautiful people making a small sacrifice to help a lot of brave kids. Oh, such a good cause. Oh my, I gotta God. Get to oh my God, I gotta get the boys to Baldrick's. I gotta get the boys to St. Baldrick's.